everybody welcome back to the channel in this video I am going to add a this is a coupler actually but it it's an RJ485 splitter as you saw in my short here I'm going to add this somewhere right here here's why I like to have front ports to things so when if somebody brings something to me or I'm hanging out with somebody and they bring a computer or let's say a PS5 or whatever they could plug it in so this is my Roku that's plugged into here so what I was going to do is I was going to run the wire back down to my networking switch which is down below here but instead, I want to make it real easy on myself just in case I have to diagnose a problem. So, to start off here, this goes in here like this. Now that's in there. So what I do now is I move my wireless out. And you're going to see two wires. This gray wire is down to my switch down below, and this is for my Roku. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this end here, and I'm going to plug it into port number two on my wireless. This is also a switch, a networking switch. Okay, so now what I am going to do is I'm going to disconnect my Roku. This light right here, if there's no network, will flash. So if I know if it's not working because the Roku will be flashing. So, disconnect that. Right? It There's nothing. It tells me it's not connected. And I'll prove that. As you can see, it is flashing right now because I disconnected that. So it's reading no network. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it into this port. And it should come right back up. Now it might not be strong enough. Oh, that's why. All right, there we go. And as you can see, I have it plugged into port two. And it, there we go. All right, so now it stopped flashing and it's plugged into this. So this is working. So if I take it out, I'll plug it into the second port and nothing should happen. It's flashing again and then it stopped. So this is working. So now I will have front network access for things. Now, as I stated before, I wanted to do this and I wanted to put them here just in case somebody comes over, they can plug their stuff in and then I won't have to reach down and run a cable. Then this way, I'm making it easy access too. So if I borrow a system as well, plug it in, boom, there we go. Now. I do have to do something for video, but this is a video on networking. So, anyway, with that said, that is it for this video. Please comment, like, subscribe, and click that bell for more notifications.